So, here we are. No glamorous this time. No great background, no face full of makeup, and God knows hair's not in all in place, right? But what I want to talk to you about right now is what I'm in the midst of doing. I am cleaning up the goober, the old, cleaning up all of the trash in my yard that will create and can damage a great foliage, a great garden next year. If you leave all the, the rotten, nasty stuff sitting in your garden without cleaning it out, it can create rot. It can, it can rot your, it can create fungus and mold and insects that, that will des destroy or damage. Rodents can come in and burrow into your root system and literally get to the foundation of your garden and ruin it from the inside out. So how does that relate to being stuck and getting, you know, your act together and trying to decide what you want to do when you grow up and, and all the things that we've been talking about all these times about starting a new business or getting a new job or, you know, finding a side hustle that, you know, provides passion for you and purpose. What does gardening have to do with that? Well, I'd like you to consider this. It's going to be a shorty because I, I got a big old yard to get back to here. But um, if you don't clear out, clean out, and get rid of all of that mess in the garden of your mind, no matter how fertile the soil, no matter how great the idea that you have, that big, hairy, audacious goal that you have, for yourself, for your family, for your lifestyle, for your business, if you don't start out with a, with a fertile foundation, but care and tend to it, and get rid of the excess and the dead wood and the, the things that are clogging up your mindset, that are creating doubt. Doubt is a weed you want to get rid of. And, and that saboteur syndrome is like a mole, you know, burrowing in and eating all the roots all winter in your, in your garden of your mind and, and, and making you second guess. And then finally that idea just dies because, well, you don't believe in yourself anymore. So I'm going to take the rest of this inside, this concept of cleaning out the, the dead wood in your mind, all those weeds and nasty things that can cause, you know, rot inside your psyche, inside your motivation, inside your, you know, your goals and dreams and create you being stuck like a weed that you just can't dig out. So we're getting real this week and, uh, and I'm going to get back to the gardening and I will see you inside for some parting thoughts. to make a new plan of action for all areas of your life, including health, family relationships, business, and spiritual growth. Just as we have certain things we need to do and rules to follow for prepping and planning for the garden, there are similar steps to follow in planning for success in every area of our lives and work. If you want to succeed at a project, you have to have a mindset that is focused on learning, growth, and solutions. 
So for many, for many years, I thought I just wasn't all that good at gardening. My mother was fantastic, but I didn't th thought I had the, the gardening gene because my plants really never flourished. And that gave me a mindset that I wasn't very good at gardening. And so I really didn't put in the effort to create a fantastic garden. I plant, don't get me wrong, I put plants in, but not be diligent about weeding and fertilizing and just kind of left my plants to fend for themselves. Does that sound a bit like your goal or dream that's languishing right now? It wasn't until I decided that I really wanted to succeed at gardening and I shifted my mindset to focus on what I needed to learn that I grew an abundant garden for the very first time. It took just changing my thoughts from thinking that I wasn't good at it to think that I could, I could learn whatever I needed to learn. But I had to do the work that needed to be done and in the right order. Pay attention throughout the process, problem solve when unexpected infestations arose like like that imposter voice in your head infests and damages your self-confidence, and then seek help when I needed it from people who had more experience with the specific challenge I was facing. Whatever your goals are, whether it's for your health, family, life, business, or garden, it's important to start with a plan of action that is based on proper preparation. Clearing out and protecting against the varmints of doubt and indecision so that the soil in your garden and in your mind is fertile and ready for magnificent growth to happen. If you want to have different results in the future, you need to think differently about your goals. Take time to get clear on what your goals and visions are for this new season ahead and Make sure you're taking strategic acts, action with a success-oriented mindset that's focused on preparation, growth, cultivation, and improvement. At this season of change, what foundational prep work do you need to do in order to change your mindset so that your goals and vision have a fertile foundation from which to take off. As you already know, I help midlife, mid-career, 30 to 50-somethings that build out a plan to achieve their personal and professional goals. So if you need a little push to kickstart that reset or have questions about prep work to create a more successful, fertile future, tag me in a comment below. This is Sue Kropbauer, and I am wishing you a week of clearing out and cleaning up your mindset in preparation for allowing your goals and dreams to bloom. I'll see you again next Friday.